Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. The best thing you can do for this channel is hit the like button before watching this so it reaches a wider audience. Also, before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, Chris Whalen. He's a U.S. business tax expert serving clients in North America and abroad. The first consultation is always free, just like men going their own way. He's also a fellow MGTOW and will keep your pills red, but brings your books back to black. Reach out to Chris Whalen, CPA, today for all your personal and business accounting needs before taking care of your sexual needs. Sponsor link is down below. Now on with the memes. Number one, why is it that for some strange reason, when you catch a woman cheating, she's the one that ends up crying instead of you? Because she just broke your heart. I think because they can't always replace a good beta male easily, of course. Remember guys, she's only crying because she was caught. But seriously, they cry because they want you to feel bad for them instead of feeling bad for yourself and getting violent with her. It's manipulation after being caught. Up next is a woman that was busted because she offered to give schnooky to some old guy's schwing schwing, if you know what I mean, in exchange for a full tank of gas. The man called the police on her. It doesn't sound like much, but a tank of gas these days is now $100, whereas back in the past it was only 20 bucks. He also probably thought she was a cop and didn't want to spend the night in jail after spending the night with her. Number three, we have a childless 41-year-old woman that's a bold lib, fulfilled and stress-free. If you're single, are you interested in her? But the women that tell you they're stress-free are usually the ones gaslighting you and are in fact the most stressed out. At least she said childless and not child-free. But the big red flag is she seems to be going out of her way to look like the Crypt Keeper or something. Moving on is this lady and mother that joined Lonely Friends and has been crying non-stop after a troll sent racy pics to her family. We're supposed to feel sorry for her now because she only did this after she lost her job. I can't believe she thought that no one would find out. Someday someone is just going to go online and sub to different ladies, find out who they are and send their pictures to their families. The OF site would disappear quickly if that started happening en masse. She's also only crying because she was caught. Number 5, the Washington Compost asked the question, why doesn't Argentina have more black players in the World Cup? The answer, of course, is because they're a country and not a Disney movie. Africans are trying to get into the West and not Argentina that's been suffering through hyperinflation. They can't afford social welfare programs for people from Ooga Booga Land. Up next, we have Statistica saying that the number of millionaires has been skyrocketing lately. In the United States, it's tripled in the last 22 years. In Canada, it's almost gone up 10 times. In Australia, the number of millionaires has gone up 20 times, probably thanks to a massive never-collapsing real estate bubble. It's also caused by inflation and the number of ladies on OF buying apartments at the age of 21. Number 7, we have Kaylee, and she's 31. And after the events of June 24, 2022, proof of vasectomies will be required before engaging with her in an intimate way. I wonder what happened on that date. Is that when she got an abortion? Regardless, in addition to getting a vasectomy, you will probably also need to be able to lift 250 pounds to be able to pick her up and thus take her over the threshold. If you're thinking of being with her, you might need to get a vasectomy to the brain. Number 8, Jada Pinkett Smith says that Will Smith's slap of Chris Rock saved their marriage. I guess it took the slap to show her how crazy, madly, deeply in love he was with her after all those years, and how much control she really has over him. But she already knew that a long time ago, and was probably just seeing this now as a way to get some attention. Two months ago, she said he wasn't her husband anymore, and she was confused about the slap. Funny enough, she already left them spiritually many years ago. Moving on is a woman saying that she has brains and another region, and uses both of them. But if you look closely, it doesn't say brains, but Brian's. So who are the Brian's that she uses? I hope the Brian's all see this and decide that they don't want to be used anymore. I also didn't know that this poor girl put an end to herself recently, according to the guys in the comment section. She was so attractive. It's a tragedy. Number 10 is Barbie crying about how Ken liberated himself from a system that treated him like a subhuman. How could he? This kind of sounds like the average woman when she realizes that men are walking away from marriage these days. Women feel pain when they realize they can't inflict emotional pain on you, the man, to relieve themselves of the suffering that comes from their own feels. Up next, this black climber group called Full Circle is claiming that Mount Everest is too white, and that they're tackling the colonialist history of mountain climbing. They were probably very high when they said this, as in high up on the mountain. 
and not the other thing. Black climbers just want to take some of the status from those with the lighter complexion, it seems. I wonder how many of these people aren't coming back off the top of that mountain. Number 12 is a woman on OF that discovered her dad was paying for her content because she heard her mother in the background one time. She was left horrified that he even paid for personal requests. I guess he just wants his daughter to be successful or something. But I think it's disturbing from both sides. But seriously, maybe she should have given him the full family discount. Imagine how awkward Christmas and Thanksgiving dinners are in that family from now on. Moving on is a guy telling a girl that there's no one on Earth that he loves more than her. She, of course, asks, what about other planets? This woman's insecurity knows no bounds. If you're wondering who this is, she's the lead actress from one of the biggest sim shows of the last decade. The show is called You, and this character's name was actually Love. Number 14 is the difference between Oppenheimer and Barbie. With Oppenheimer, you need to understand history, astronomy, physics, and geopolitics. But with Barbie, all you need to do to understand is to go and watch it with the woman. Barbie is a red pill movie if you watch it through the eyes of Ken closely enough. But unlike in the movie, in real life, the red pill is going to win. Up next is Ava, and she first got preggers at the age of 13. And then again at 17. She didn't learn the lesson the first time, so she went through the toll booth the second time. And you can see that from her eyes that are basically sad eyes. She's even got a YouTube channel that was doing pretty well, but she stopped posting content on there for some reason. Number 16, Will Simp, makes his second appearance in this video. You may have heard of the elf on a shelf before, but how about the cuck on a duck? Maybe Disney can hire him. <laughs> Maybe Disney can hire him to voice a cartoon series called Cucktails. Other people said this could also be called Slapper on a Flapper or Will on a Bill. <laughs> Somebody even called this Turd on a Bird. I would definitely buy one of these. They would be a great conversation piece. Moving on is a female Marine back in Iraq claiming that she could knock anyone out. She gets in the ring and then she gets knocked out. Remember the one thing that women have is confidence. They can turn deadly. This is a story of fantasy meets reality. Number 18, it looks like Destiny's wife left him for this guy. He looks like a dollar store Ezra Miller. Is the red pill wrong or is it right? Because she left a guy that was a multi-millionaire to be with a broke twink. It looks like she's even holding up his leg for some reason. As for Destiny, she left him the moment he said it was okay to open up the marriage. As for this guy, he's probably going to become the next Finster or something. Number 19, apparently this is the most difficult lady to deal with in the world. I'm guessing she's called a Fupasaurus. It's difficult for you as well as being difficult for those genes. This is probably the woman from all the memes that gets between you and the woman you actually want to be with saying, she's not interested. Also, how do you really know this is a female and not a male? This individual looks like the main boss from the Sonic the Hedgehog video game series. Up next, someone is wondering why men can understand all these gauges in their car, but not women. Josh says the gauges actually tell us what's wrong, implying that women do not and expect us to guess. Maybe women only seem to have one gauge that says, you know what you did wrong, and if you don't, then you don't deserve me. If a woman was a car, these would be all of her gauges, and they'd be all covered up in duct tape, so you wouldn't be able to see what's actually going on. Number 21 is Americans having tea tax at 3 or 4% versus Americans having income tax at 40% in 2023. The difference, of course, is taxation without representation. You give people an elected official to cheer for and suddenly they'll accept 50 plus percent taxation for some reason. Some people would say that the second American revolution is a financial one and that it's an orange Bitcoin one, the same color as Winnie the Pooh here. Moving on is a possible representation of the cycle of stores opening and closing in America. First, the shops come in and the locals are happy, but they shoplift until the stores are forced to close. In Chat Francisco, shoplifting isn't even really a crime anymore. Then when the stores close, the same people cry and complain about being forced to live in food deserts. If states like California refuse to make tougher laws, you can either choose to stay and suffer or leave. Number 23 is Ice Spice before and after makeup you could land a 747 on that forehead. This picture was probably the reason that Drake unfollowed her. She looks mid with makeup and like E.T. without. I really hope she's not missing some chromosomes or possibly has some extra ones. That would be a real shame. Up next is a woman asking other women if they're noticing that men are no longer persuasive. That once they ask a woman on a date and she says no, that's it. Of course they are. They don't want to get me too Ladies can have it both ways, the power to recommend that gives them unwanted attention, 
yet expect men to give them that attention just to boost their egos. Playing hard to get doesn't fly in a woke world. Number 25 and the last one is a woman with only nine months to live asking her husband if she can boink an ex one last time. Well, at least it makes it easier for him to move on when she's finally gone. If you say yes, you're a cuck. But if you say no, you're a monster, not granting a woman's last request. You're her husband, not the Make-A-Wish Corporation. The only way out while saving some face in this case is to say okay, but that you'll be filming it. Some women can't even die with a little bit of self-respect these days. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Give this video a thumbs up to help it reach more viewers. If you want the memes that I can't show you here on YouTube, then subscribe to my X account, where I post them daily ahead of time. Link is down below. Also remember I make these for free, so donate at the PayPal and subscribe star links below for more content like this. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.